hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix error code that is 0x803f8001 now this is the name of your title whatever is the name of your game is currently not available in your account and here is the code and this will be the code so if you are receiving this error code then please perform the steps provided in this video to fix this problem now the first step is to sign out and sign in again on microsoft store so go to microsoft store open microsoft store on your computer then over here you will see your profile picture then click uh, on your profile then click on sign out over here and then you can go ahead and sign in once again so click over here then click on sign in select your account click on continue enter the password or pin whatever it is prompting enter the code if it's asking for the password enter your password then log in and then try using the store again if that does not re resolve the problem then run my windows store troubleshooter to run microsoft store troubleshooter go to the start menu click on settings go to update and security then click on troubleshoot scroll down here you will see windows store apps click on run the troubleshooter it will go ahead and identify the problem and it will go ahead and fix it for you and then you can restart your computer and then try launching the game it will take a uh, couple of seconds now once this is done restart your computer then try launching the game in case that does not resolve the problem then reset store so you have to reset microsoft store so go to the start menu go to settings then click on apps and then scroll down and find microsoft store over here here i can see microsoft store is over here click on advanced option then over here you will see the reset option click on reset now before you click on reset just read this this will permanently delete the apps data on this device including your preferences and sign in details so just remember this this will happen then click on reset and then restart the computer then try launching the game in case the issue is still persist then perform administrator reset using ws reset command so just type in ws reset over here then make a right click then click on run as administrator then click on yes if you receive a prompt to allow then click on yes and over here you will see the black screen now we have to wait till this black screen goes away now in couple of seconds in few seconds this black screen will go away and the microsoft store will pop up again so let's wait okay now this black screen is gone and here you can see the microsoft store is up and running now you can go ahead and try launching the game in case that does not help then run powershell command i have provided this command in the video description so you can get it from there just copy it and just type in powershell in windows search box and here you will see windows powershell make a right click then click on run as administrator then click on yes to allow then paste the command in the windows powershell window over here and then hit the enter key let the process complete then restart your computer and then try launching the game if that is not resolved then uninstall and reinstall microsoft store so you know uh, that that will be through powershell once again so if the if uh, window microsoft store is open in case it's open please close it So if the Microsoft Store is open, just close it and then type in PowerShell and make a right click then click on run as administrator. Copy this command, I provided the command in the video description. So copy this and paste it over here and then hit the enter key on the keyboard. Now over here you can see the Microsoft Store is gone, gone from here if i type in microsoft store over here it will not open up because it has been uninstalled even if i click nothing will happen and very soon it will go away 
now then after you run this command when you uninstall the microsoft store then restart your computer go to start menu then click on restart now after the restart again open the powershell command just type in powershell make a right click run as administrator then click on yes and then copy this command and paste it over here and the hit the enter key the, now the microsoft store i should be able to open microsoft store here yeah, it's opening now and then again you can try launching the game you should not be facing the problem in case that does not resolve the problem then run dism command to run dism command again you have to open powershell just type in powershell windows powershell make a right click click and run as administrator then click on yes again the command has been provided in the video in video description so you can get it from there paste it then hit the enter key it will run a scan it will go ahead and fix the corrupt files on windows 10 now once the scan is complete um, only then restart the computer let the scan complete it may take some time after the scan is 100% once it's done restart your computer then launch the microsoft store and that should take care of the problem here you can see right now it's uh, scanning once mm, this is 100% then you can restart the computer and then try launching microsoft store if nothing works this is the last step which is to update windows 10 using media creation tool so if nothing works then in that case open google chrome then type in media creation tool in the windows in the google search and here click on the microsoft link which says download windows 10 this image then click on download tool now a small exe file will download you have to run this exe file click on yes to allow let the tool load up now this is the last step and uh, actually this steps takes time because it will go ahead and download the complete windows 10 files along with the latest update so whatever is the latest windows update available right now it will it will go ahead and update your computer to that latest update right now it's 1909 so whatever is the latest update it will go ahead and download it on your computer then it will go ahead and install it on the computer now during the installation of windows 10 update your computer will restart so do not worry about that so let the process complete because this process takes time so click on accept and it it will not only take care of your windows store problem um, the media creation tool actually uh, takes care of a lot of windows 10 issue on your computer so once you are done with this uh, if you have any other issues with windows 10 that will also be taken care of now depending upon the speed of your internet it will go ahead and download and download the file because this is a large file do not worry about the data loss because it's uh, just uh, uh, update to the latest version so it will not go ahead and delete your data on the computer so do not worry about that now the next step is to upgrade this pc so select this option which says upgrade this pc now then click on next and let the download complete it will very soon it will start the download and as i said this is a large file so it will take time and then after that you can install it once the installation is done then you can go ahead and use microsoft store so one of the step provided in this video will definitely take care of the error message and thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you